Thanks for joining us here at Functional Bliss, where Audra and Jessica will guide you through exercises and wellness techniques to help you live your best life every day. It's in the name after all, Functional Bliss. Before you do anything else, click like and subscribe and ring the bell so you'll know whenever we put up a new video. To join our Blissful Gang for live Zoom classes where you can get more direct suggestions and encouragement, go to our website and sign up. Check the class description below for any equipment needs, grab your gear, and let's get started. All right, we are ready to get started with our weights class today. I got my fuzzy socks on. It's a little chilly out here. You might see my curtains blowing in the breeze. No worries. If I blow away, I'll be back next week. All right, we're going to start with our feet stretched out in front, warming up our body, tapping our hands side to side, bringing a little motion through our back. Might want to add a little flexing of your ankles in here. It goes really well with the music and it'll help warm up your legs too. If everything's feeling good, maybe swing those arms a little further, a little faster. Bringing them up a little bit, being a little more active. Beautiful, just a couple more here. And then moving into our side bends. Again, big and active. Stretching through the side body. Warming up the shoulders. One more on each side, and then we're gonna go to our forward reach. Beautiful, just a couple here. And then from here, pulling those feet in, windshield wipering the knees side to side, warming up our hips a little, checking in, seeing how they're feeling today. If everything's feeling good, go ahead and bring those feet out a little further, rock those knees a little further, maybe bring them down to the floor if that's in your range of motion. If it's not, don't worry about it. Everybody has slightly different hip structure, so you got to do what works for you. If that's feeling good and you want just a little more, roll all the way up onto those hips. Give yourself a nice little glute massage at the same time. Beautiful. Two more here. If you're on YouTube, honestly, you can do as many more as you like. Just pause the video. And then we're coming right back out. And we're going to finish. We're bringing our hands and feet in circles, warming up those small joints. Go the other way. Wiggle the fingers and toes, bop the knees up and down. Beautiful. And then our next thing, we're gonna move into a kneeling posture. So grab an extra cushion if that feels good for you. We're gonna do an overhead press with a sit back. We're gonna work our upper body and our core and our quads really well too. All right, so you're gonna take your weights, rack them up, sitting back, and then pushing up into that overhead press. One minute on the clock. Here we go. Now, how far are you sitting back? However far feels good in your knees. You might be able to sit all the way back with your bum all the way to your heels, and you might not. Again, everybody is different. So find what works for you and do that. If you want actually a little more work, come all the way back to where you're just brushing the tops of your heels, but don't actually rest back. Keep those quads engaged and then squeeze the belly as you come up. 15 seconds to go here. 
Make sure you're breathing. And time. Beautiful. All right. From here, we're going to actually come all the way down onto our bottoms. Bring one dumbbell across the middle. Whew, warmed up already. And then we're going to do our feet up and over for a legs over dumbbell. But we're adding a little extra element today to really work those inner thighs. So we're going to come over the dumbbell and over the other leg. Crossing all the way. One minute. Here we go. Keep those feet nice and flexed so the whole lower leg is active as well. And then you have options with your hands. You can lean back into your wrists for a little support. You can bring your hands up and front of you so you're engaging your core a little more if you really really want to work your upper body you can grab some weights and hold them up at cactus arms totally up to you 20 seconds to go here Almost there. Beautiful, all right. Next up, we are actually gonna come into a plank position. Move those weights all the way out of the way. Again, you might want a little cushion if that helps with your elbows, because we're gonna do low plank. And we're gonna do what we call hip dips. So coming into that low plank, making sure your back is nice and flat. You're just dipping your hip from one side to the other. Not all the way to the ground, but close. One minute, here we go. We're gonna do 15 seconds and then we're gonna set our knees down for a little break. And then we'll keep doing the, those cycles for a full minute. Set those knees down just for a second. And then right back up, here we go. Set those knees down and then back to it. This one's really hard, guys. If you need to take a little extra second, go for it. Set those knees down and then right back. Almost there. Time. All right. From here, we're actually going to flip over onto our backs. But before we do, we're going to hug in nice and tight, rounding our back to counter the pressure we just put on our low back. Beautiful. And then from here, now we're going to go down onto our backs and we're going to do a bridge hold with a narrow press. So what that means is you're gonna push up and hold that bridge, elbows in nice and tight. You're gonna be bringing those arms up, bringing the weights right above you. One minute on the clock. Here we go. Pushing up, squeezing the glutes nice and tight, holding them there. Beautiful. Nice and steady. Elbows staying in tight by your side. This one's working your triceps a lot, as well as your chest a little. And of course, your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads, all that lower body stuff. 20 seconds to go.
Keep squeezing those glutes. And time. Beautiful. All right, you guys are really gonna love this next one, I promise. You're gonna do legs up the wall, holding them right there, and then you're gonna do your chest dumbbell pullover. So you're bringing it back and then up towards your legs. One minute on the clock. Here we go. You can turn it horizontally or you can hold it vertically. Depends on the shape of your weight and what's comfortable for you. And you're using your abs to really draw your legs up, even a little past straight up and down, so that you're crunching in. Make sure you're breathing here. Beautiful, you look amazing. Fifteen seconds to go. You got this. And time. Whew, all right. For our last exercise in this set, we're actually going to just flip right on over. Make sure those weights are out of your way. And then we're gonna keep, well, there's a couple ways you can do this actually. You're gonna try to keep your upper body raised up off the floor. But if you find that puts too much strain on your lower back, feel free to set your chin down. And then we're gonna do 30 seconds on each leg, doing those leg raises. I'll tell you when to switch. Here we go. Now, if, you can keep your upper body raised up. It doesn't hurt your back. That's great. You're making these W arms, working all those back muscles at the same time as you're really working that glute and all down the back of your leg. Switching legs in three, two, one, and switch. But again, anytime you feel any pain in your back, set those arms down, maybe rest your chin on your hands. And give your back a little break. Almost there. Time. That is the end of our first set. So go grab some water, reward your body for all the hard work it just did. And then we'll do set number two. All right, go ahead and get back in position for that overhead press with the sit back. I like my heavier weights for an overhead press, but it's totally up to you what feels good in your body today. Rocking the weight up. Oh no, timer malfunction. Okay, now rack the weight up. Here we go. Really add to your core work by squeezing in your belly as you come up. Pulling your belly button back towards your tailbone. Imagine drawing the points of your hips in towards the center. Squeeze and everything in nice and tight. You're halfway done already.
15 seconds to go. You got it. Almost there. And time. Perfect. Up next, we have our leg over dumbbell. So grab that dumbbell, put it right in the middle. And here we go. Whether you choose to support your lean back there and focus just on your lower body, add in that core work or grab that weight, add in the upper body as well. Totally up to you. You're halfway done. You may notice my heels don't actually touch the floor. Some people's will, but I got thick thighs, guys. Mine don't, that's okay. Especially if you have a lot of muscle, you're not gonna be able to touch all the way down without really bending your knee. If you want to, that's fine, but it's not necessary. Time. All right, moving into those hip dips. Make sure you're set up. Grab that cushion for your elbows if you prefer it. One minute on the clock. Here we go. Remembering that this one can be hard on the lower back. So we're gonna make sure that we put our knees down periodically. I do every 15 seconds, you can do more if that's better for you. And if you've got that super strong plank position and your back's not bothering you at all, wonderful. You don't have to put your knees down if you don't want to. It's totally up to you. Knees down again, if you're doing that. We're on our last set, guys. You got this. Almost there. Time. Beautiful. Curling in. Working through that back a little bit. Countering the stretch you just put it through. And then coming down flat on your back for that bridge hold and narrow press. Now, I prefer my medium weights for my tricep work, but again, pick whatever works for you. We got one minute on the clock. Here we go. Pushing up, holding that glute bridge, squeezing. And breathing, of course. Probably the single most important thing we do in class and through our whole day is just breathe. So make sure you're including that as part of your exercise and all your daily activities. Ten seconds to go, almost there. Time. All right, up next we have that legs up the wall with the pullover. So set one weight to the side. Bring those legs up nice and high. And here we go. Again, horizontal or vertical, it doesn't matter. It really just depends on the shape of your weight and what's a comfortable hand position for you.
Keep going, you got this. Fifteen seconds. Squeeze everything in. You can do it. And five. All right, last one for this set. Go ahead and flip over. Find that position that works for you, whether you keep your upper body raised or lower it down. One minute on the clock. Here we go. Beautiful. If you're adding in that upper body work, really try to lift those elbows up, holding that nice W position. It's gonna work your upper back as well as your lower back. Switching sides in three, two, one, and switch. And remember, anytime it feels good to you, lower those arms down, lower your head down, give your back a little break. I promise you are still getting a ton of work through your glute and your, uh, the back of your leg and your lower back. Time. Go ahead and pull back into that child's pose. Maybe rock your hips just a little side to side here. Again, just soothing that back a little after the work we put it through so far. And then grab some water because we still have one set to go. All right, get set up for that overhead press with the sit back. Before we go into our third set, take a second, assess where you are. Do you still wanna do the sit back? Do you wanna lower your weights? Make the choice that's right for you and for where your body is right now. One minute on the clock, here we go. Nice, slow, steady breathing. Really focusing on the muscle work. Halfway done already. Ten seconds to go. You got this. Almost there. And time. Nice job. All right. Up next, leg over dumbbell. Get everything in position. Make sure your other dumbbells are out of the way so you're not banging your ankles on them. And here we go. Looking good. You know all the variations you can do here. Make sure you're choosing the one that feels right for this set. Your body's not the same as it was 15 minutes ago when you started. It's done a lot of work since then. So you gotta assess where it is right now. Is it warmed up asking for more? Or is it saying, whew, we did a lot already. Let's maybe dial it back. 
learning to listen to your body is the most important thing that you can do for safe exercise with no injuries. It's always okay to make the right decision for you right now. Time. I'm gonna get off my little soapbox now and get ready for our hip dips. One minute on the clock. Here we go. Looking good, it's your last set, you can do it. Knees down and then come right back to it. Knees down for that halfway point, maybe a little pull back up to you. You got this guys. Knees down, last set. Keep breathing. Time. All right. Hugging those knee knees in, rounding your back just for a moment. And then getting in position, grabbing the weights you need for your narrow press. One minute on the clock, pushing up into that glute hold and the narrow press. Perfect. Check in with your knees here. You don't want them falling in towards each other. You don't want them flopping out to the sides. Try to keep them coming out like, like they would be uh, about hip width apart if you were standing or kneeling. Nice and strong, squeezing firmly. 15 seconds to go. All right, for our last 10 seconds, push those hips up even a little higher. And time, nice job. All right, guys, legs up the wall, dumbbell pullover. One minute, here we go. Perfect, slow and steady. Making your chest and your core, and of course your legs, do a lot of work here. Only 15 seconds left. You can do anything for 15 seconds. Time. Beautiful. All right. Flipping right on over, getting ready for those glute leg raises in whatever position works for your upper body here. 30 seconds on each side, starting now. Still breathing, check in. It can be hard to keep your breath regular and smooth when you're laying on your stomach.
switching sides now. Perfect, looking good. Almost there. Time. All right, pull back into that child's pose. Bring in your bottom back towards your heels. Maybe wiggle your hips side to side, if that feels good for you. And then grab some water because you are done with your third set. Awesome job today. All we have left is our final stretch. All right, coming in for our stretch. We're actually gonna start with our legs apart. So make sure you have enough space. Maybe move those dumbbells out of the way if you need to. If you're like me, you got dumbbells everywhere. And then breathe those arms up overhead. Hold forward right down the middle. And then let everything soften. Let your back round. Let your glasses fall off your face. Just set them to the side. No worries. With each exhale. Let your elbows soften down just a little more. Let your neck soften a little more. Let everything melt down and relax. One more. And then on your next inhale, roll all the way up. And we're gonna reach one arm up and over all the way across to the opposite foot. I like to reach to the outside of that foot, but reach to whatever feels good for you. Toes, inside of the foot, ankles, shin, I don't care. Just reach and stretch. Maybe use a little tension here, pulling against your hand so that you get a stretch through the shoulders, through the side body, maybe even down into that opposite hip and low back. One more breath. And then release and roll all the way up and go to the other side. Again, maybe pulling in if that feels good for you, adding a little tension. I feel it really helps me stretch through my shoulder blade and that upper part of my back. If I pull just a little bit against my foot, it's totally up to you. One more breath. And then release and come all the way up. From here, we're gonna bring the bottoms of our feet together, keeping the back nice and straight to start, leaning forward just until you find a comfortable stretch right on the edge of where it feels good to you. Reaching long like you're pushing through the crown of your head towards the wall opposite. And then on your next exhale, let everything round and soften down. Maybe add a little extra support under your knees if that feels good for you. You can use blankets or pillows or like I'm doing, just use your arms to kind of hold the knees up a little. And just let your neck soften. 
let your background with each exhale, let your chest sink a little more towards the floor. One more. And then on your next inhale, roll all the way up. Squeeze those knees in, hugging them in nice and tight. And then bring your legs down into whatever is a comfortable seat for you. Take one arm, bring it across the body. Making sure you lower that shoulder down away from your chin. And then tilting up just a little bit like you're looking up towards the ceiling. Turn your head slowly and gently in that tilted up position. And just feel how your neck's doing. Feel if you have any tight spots, anything you might wanna pay a little more attention to later in your day. And then bring your head back to center, lower it down and release. Go into the other side. This time we're gonna do the same thing with lowering our chin down. Like we're looking towards the floor and then gently moving side to side. You might here feel not just your neck, but the upper shoulder, the traps, any tight spots in there. If you do find any, do some extra stretching, maybe get a massage ball and roll it out a little. Make sure you're taking care of those. Otherwise, those tight muscles can give you tension headaches. Coming back to center, raise that chin back up and then release. One more thing we're gonna do, we're gonna give ourselves a big pat on the back for everything we did today. And then if it feels good, just gently pull that elbow back towards the wall behind you. Stretch out those triceps. We worked them on that narrow press. Always surprising to me how much that can work your triceps. It's a really great exercise. One more breath. And then release. And go to the other side. One more breath and release. And you are all done. Thank you so much for coming out today. I will be here again on Tuesday.